Ow. The joys of growing out your beard. You gotta take care of it. Every day, it's so much maintenance. This is why I never lasted long with it, but I'm trying. I'm trying to let her buck as long as I can. A lot of maintenance. It gets greasy real quick, gotta wash it all the time. Call Anyways, that doesn't matter, you don't care. Hello, it's a new day. We're in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. We're headed home today, so it's an exciting day. I haven't been home since I spent all the money fixing this truck. And the truck's been running great, knock on wood. We've been actually getting way better fuel economy too. So obviously all these problems that were uh, plaguing my truck were affecting my fuel economy quite a bit. So we've been saving up to $20 a day in fuel, which is huge. That's $200 every 10 days. It's like $600 a month. I think that's about how much we've been saving. Because yeah, fuel's about a dollar a liter. And we're getting about uh, 15 to 20 liters per kilometer better. It's, it's a huge difference. Huge difference. It's not just the conditions. It's not just the loads I'm hauling. I hauled all kinds of loads before. And... I've been getting a lot better now, a lot better. So if I'm saving, no, wait, 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 it's more than 20 bucks a day. If I'm saving even like 15 liters per 100 kilometers and fuel is over a dollar a liter, it's usually at about a dollar 20. One second here, we're gonna do math. Dollar 20 times, okay, so 15, we're saving that. We're saving 18 bucks every hour, every 100 kilometers. Let's say I drive a thousand kilometers in a day, times that by 10. We're saving $180 a day in fuel. Woo! So let's say we're on the road for, uh, let's say an average, let's say 25 days a month or so. If I'm on the road 25 days, that's $4,500 a month in fuel savings. It sounds like a lot. It's probably not quite that much. You probably have to round that down, but it's still, over a few thousand dollars, so even three thousand dollars, even two thousand dollars a month in fuel savings. Wow! Wow! That'll pay for this repair itself in a few months, just in my fuel savings from getting everything fixed. Incredible. So we're gonna putt our way across the prairies today from Swift Current to Winnipeg. We're gonna do about 95 kilometers an hour. It's four lane divided. All the way there, it's not a very congested part of the world, so people can easily go around me if they wanna go faster. The speed limit is 110. It's not illegal to do 95. I can understand some people hate the fact that they may have to exert the energy to turn their turn signal on, which is pretty much optional in most parts of the world. And and turn the steering wheel ever so slightly to go around me. Some people really don't like to do that, but I'm saving fuel. They want to burn the extra fuel, that's up to them. All right, and on a two-lane highway, I would never do this. I, I don't like holding up traffic, but on the prairies here, there's not much traffic. Not many people live out here because it's cold and miserable. So we're gonna be putting across the prairies today. Let's see what kind of fuel economy we can get today. We're not gonna be stopping much just for our regular breaks to check our load and uh, bathroom bricks, because we're going home. Speaking of that, let's check out the load right now. There she was. So simple, just 16 lifts. Lumber, two by six. I'll do two by six by 10, right? Now this is two by six, 10 feet, right? That's what they told me, or is it nine feet? Ah. This doesn't quite look like 10 feet, but. It's more like eight feet to me. Two by six lumber anyways. This is the stuff we're pulling around here. Maybe we can take a sneak peek at it. There you go, see? It smells delicious. Not in delicious in the sense that you want to eat it. You, you don't want to eat it, but uh, you know what I mean. It's the smell of fresh cut lumber. <sighs> Makes you want to go and build something. You guys ready for this? Just buckling myself in so I don't fall out. It's gonna be wild. Okay. Put some air into the system so it releases my brakes. 
Turn the lights on. Here we go. Tug our trailer a bit. Not gonna fall off. Good. Here we go. There we go. Officially kicked me into driving. Okay. The day has legally begun. This place is empty. I'm still surprised. How did you guys sneak out of here so soon? Sneaky people. I know you did something fishy there. So we're 850 or so kilometers away from home. That would usually be about eight and a half hours of driving, but since we're going a little slower today to conserve fuel, uh, I'm thinking probably closer to uh, nine and a half hours. With stops, probably 10 hours. So we'll be home this evening sometime. Later than I want it to be, but we'll have more money left over than I at first thought there would be. We're not burning as much fuel. Are you gonna say it or am I? It's Balgoni Baloney. We're on the east side of Regina in Balgoni. And I'm not gonna grab fuel here because we have been rocking the fuel economy today and I don't need fuel right now. I'm gonna fuel in Winnipeg. But I do need fuel for my body. I do need coffee. That's the only thing we're stopping here. Ran a bathroom break. I may as well, let's be honest. You know what? Diesel probably needs a bathroom break too. Let's back in here. Let's give him a break. Where am I gonna back into? Where am I gonna back into? Nobody knows. Nobody, I don't even know. Let's just point our nose this way and point our rear end that way and see what happens. Okay, we are aiming at that spot. Looks good to me. Nobody walk behind me. Point our rear end that way, go a little further that way, there we go. Now I want to park with enough room so I can get Diesel's steps out on the passenger side. all mucky back here that's springtime for you but you know what i'll take it diesel leave that alone go on go on leave the garbage dirty truckers look at all this garbage back here along the fence people disgust me why there's no reason for that they have garbage cans like every hundred feet if not less all this garbage such a shame. People don't take care of things. Oh, we're just rolling into Headingley, 
or West Winnipeg here. And it was a great day for fuel economy until we hit about Portage La Prairie. And for some reason we got blasted with a strong wind from the south. Which is kind of bittersweet. It's bitter because it's ruining my fuel economy. But it's also sweet because it's coming from the south. So you know it's going to warm up in the next couple of days. So that's a good thing. I'm going to stop here for fuel in Headingley and uh, go drop the trailer in the secure yard and we'll head on home. We'll be home tonight and home for a 36 hour Canadian reset. So that means uh, I'll be going Sunday morning sometime. seven, eight hour drive down to Minneapolis where we have to deliver Monday morning. And I want to be there first thing Monday morning. Like I mean bright and early. Crack a dawn. Because I want to get over to my reload, get reloaded and get back home Monday night if possible. I, I, it's probably not going to happen. But I'd like to. I've spent so much time on the road this month. I'd like to sneak in a couple of extra nights at home wherever I can. Doesn't look like there's a big lineup for fuel today. That's good. In and out. I uh, really wanted to be home earlier, but you know, that's the story every time. Where's that guy going? Oh, he just wants to go park right by the door, so he wants to go inside. He doesn't want to walk. I see. He rushed to get in front of me too and cut me off to get in front of me so he could turn in here. <laughs> oh no, no, he's going straight through. Well, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, he's gonna go park. Oh, maybe he heard me talking about him. I'm gonna go find a parking spot. 